Dylan right here made this thumbnail, has 1.5 million views. Can you break down this thumbnail for us? For sure. This was inspired by a thumbnail I made about six months ago. I think it's from Game of Thrones. He's like climbing like an ice mountain. Okay, yeah. They sent me this asset picture. It was already pretty good. He was wearing the red coat already, and I knew that we would have it on the ice wall. Red and blue are very good contrasting colors. Something I noticed with a lot of these big YouTubers and a lot of the thumbnail designs, they're typically in the middle of doing something and there's an action happening. Action makes you intrigued. You know, it looks like a frame from the video where he's actually climbing this ice mountain and this makes you very intrigued and makes you think this is what you are actually going to see in the video. One thing I really love about this thumbnail is it's very simple. Yeah, I think simplifying is a big thing. Obviously, you don't want too many colors, but I also don't think there's any rule of less colors is better. Mr. Beast, for example, in his circle videos, there's probably six, seven different colors in that thumbnail, but it still works very well. It's a great thumbnail. We're going to go to the next one, which is thumbnail that you designed for Eric here. And it's called, I ordered 10,000 Amazon packages. If I just look at that title, I would be like, how am I going to design a thumbnail for this? But you landed on this one. There's still a lot going on, but somehow the eyes are just led straight to Eric. What's going on in this thumbnail that the eyes are kind of drawn to where you want them to go? Yeah, so this thumbnail, you could break it down into three main elements. We have the background with the house and the trees and the sky, and the trees really give scale to the mountain of packages. The lines of the pathway lead directly towards Arak. And I also think that all the packages are kind of noisy and then the middle of it is just clear and there's no distraction from all the packages around. I want to look at a list of all these old thumbnails. You made new ones and there's some major differences. Recreating your thumbnails is a newer trend that people are just now starting to pick up on and they can really make your videos pop off again, especially if you think the video is good. What I plan to do with these was just to make everything look a lot more intense because he is eating super spicy food. These thumbnails are a very good example of contrast and why it matters so much. For most of these, I had a darker background on very bright, oversaturated food. It makes everything in the foreground stand out a lot more. You want to see these people go through this pain and see their reaction to all these crazy foods that they're eating. You would think with someone eating spicy food that the thumbnail would show them like drooling at the mouth. But something I've kind of learned, sometimes it's better to not show that reaction first because the viewer actually wants to click and see the reaction. If you get someone to click on the video and you don't already spoil the reaction, it makes the people stay for the entire video until he has his reaction. I love all those tips, Dylan. If you guys actually want to see a video on titles, click on the screen, check that out. Thanks so much for being here. Thank and you for uh, having me. Make sure you check him out on Twitter, link in the description. See you guys in the next one.